Owning a pet is one of the best ways to manage the boredom of life. Her squeaks just make me smile. Like things like this, it's just it just calms you down. Pets make great companions and can be therapeutic too. Cute, adorable pets especially can make anyone happy. If you have a puppy or kitten, I'm sure you know what I mean. Those little fur balls are the one thing every pet owner looks forward to coming home to, and for many, they become part of the family. But while most people prefer the usual dog or cat, some want something more unusual. But are you even allowed to keep cute animals like a chinchilla or a hedgehog as pets? You may ask. Maybe you can, but it'd be wise to first check out this video and watch a 10 cute exotic animals that you can keep as pets. Number 10. The Wallaby the wallaby has been affectionately named the mini kangaroo. These are adorable little guys who just love playing because of their bubbly energy. And what's cool is that yeah, you can keep a one as a pet. Wallabies are native to the Australian outback and are much smaller than a traditional kangaroo. But if you're going to get one, make sure you have a big enough playpen for them to run around because these guys don't tire easily. A good thing is that wallabies are herbivores and love eating plants and vegetables. There are several wallabies species grouped by habitat, the most common being rock wallabies and brush wallabies. Because these animals are marsupials, their young remain in their mother's pouch till they develop enough to move around on their own. In most states of the USA, you may need a USDA license to own a wallaby, but in many others you don't. In states like Nevada, Wisconsin, Ohio, West Virginia, North and South Carolina. As far as the cuteness goes, you just have to see the next exotic animal, which is a really cute guy. Number 9. Chinchilla A chinchilla is small enough to fit in your purse. Yep, you heard it right, that's how tiny it is. These little rodents are simply adorable. But hey, did you get startled from hearing the word rodent? But hold on, the chinchilla is a very different type of rodent that is obedient, clean, and quiet. But most of all, they are odorless and won't make your room or clothes all stinky. Oh, that's a relief. Chinchillas can be quiet, shy, and introverted animals, but once they get to know you, they will just dote on your affection. Because of their shy and quiet nature, they make sweet and appropriate family pets. Chinchillas inhabit the Andes Mountains in South America and were named after the Chencha tribe. Now called purse animals, they are used to warm weather and open spaces. They can be a good distraction and extremely cute, but they do have a lot of energy. If you keep a chinchilla, make sure you give them a lot of activity and energy entertainment every day. And there is one important thing that these small cuddly creatures need and that is a good dental plan. While these little rodents require a permit in some states, they are allowed in North Dakota, California, Delaware, and Hawaii. Number 8. Dwarf Pig I know you are all wondering why would anyone in their right mind want a pig in their house or as a pet for their kids. Believe it or not, but pigs are actually highly intelligent and make adorable pets. The dwarf pig especially isn't just small enough to be kept as a pet in home, it is cute and known for its sweet and sociable nature too. They make great companions and you could even sleep with them too. Dwarf pigs have a chubby figure with ears that are always perked back just like a dwarf. They have a short neck and snout while basically everything is short about them, which is why they are known as dwarf pigs. These cute guys are unlike larger pigs and are always cleaning up after themselves. Now isn't that a good thing, huh? Dwarf pigs are also known as teacup pigs and extremely fun animals to have around, especially for those with allergies because dwarf pigs are hyperallergenic animals, which means that they make great pets for those with allergies too. The problem is, if you keep a dwarf pig, these little cuties can get emotionally attached and suffer from separation anxiety when you leave the home, so it might be a good idea to keep two. What if I told you that turtles make great pets? Well, keep watching and find out. Number 7. The Box Turtle Box turtles may look like some prehistoric midget with its home on its back, but little dwarf type turtles are very sweet and adorable as pets. They may be tricky to care for and require some high maintenance, but as long as you look after them well, they will live a long life, up to 50 years, which means a constant companion for you, right? But you know what? There is one box turtle in the world and his name is Jonathan. His age? 189 years old. Now that's pretty awesome, isn't it? When you're going to keep box turtles, 
make sure you have a lot of water around them because they enjoy a good soaking at all times. The water is necessary to keep them rehydrated and cool. After all, if you have to keep carrying your home on your back, you'd feel hot too. Surprisingly though, despite liking water, they are somewhat clumsy swimmers, but that's what makes them look cute and adorable. Next, how would you like having the largest rotan in the world as a pet, the capybara? Number six, the capybara. Have you ever heard of a rodent called the capybara? Well, it's the largest rodent in the world, and while that may sound a bit scary to you, it's surprising to know that these are giant babies. Capybaras are native to South America and make great pets. A typical specimen can grow up to 140 pounds. Now for a small animal, that's quite heavy, but it's the size and all of that fur, which makes the capybara adorable and fun to have around. Capybaras are the cutest exotic animals that you will ever find on the planet. You're going to find something surprising about the capybara. While your regular rodent doesn't really like getting wet and cannot swim, the capybara's natural habitat is water, making them pretty much similar to beavers and otters. Capybaras are social animals, and you can't think of keeping one, you would have to keep two. These exotic pets will require a social license in some parts of the US. It's advisable to check with your pet shop or even authorities before getting one. Number five. Bengal cats. Now here's a truly exotic pet if there ever was one with a name to match. It could give you quite a social status owning a Bengal cat, but as far as the cute pets go, these animals are the sweetest and look all soft, cuddly, and beautiful too. Bengal cats, especially the smaller ones, look like miniature leopards and are the next best thing if not better. It is their famous fur that gives them the leopard look, which usually comes in different patterns and colors like brown, silver, snow, or even blue. The Bengal cat is an of animals, so if you're going to keep one, you need to make sure it has plenty of outdoor space to move around. Keeping a Bengal cat will give you plenty of exercise too because these little creatures just love playing with their human companions. <coughs> Bengal cats are very social, which is what makes them highly prized as an exotic pet. They will even get along with other pets in the family because the more the merrier for them. But a Bengal cat is only for those who are cat lovers, so if you are one, then how about a sugar glider instead? Number four, the sugar gliders. Sugar gliders are like having a real live toy airplane at home. Just take a look at the video of this little guy flying around and you'll know why. Squirrels cannot be domesticated, but sugar gliders do make good house pets and are the next best thing to a flying squirrel. So what more could you wish for? Did you know even Paris Hilton has a sugar glider? But then the rich and famous need to have something exotic to show off, don't you think? Sugar gliders have extremely large eyes and will make you fall in love the moment you see them. And you have to admit, it, they are a lot more adorable and cuter than squirrels. Sugar gliders are little omnivorous and nocturnal possums belonging to the marsupial class of animals. They are natives of Australia, New Guinea, and Indonesia. The main reason why they are called sugar gliders is that these little adorable cuties have a sweet tooth and love the sweet sap from trees and nectar from flowers. And yes, they can glide through the air just like a flying squirrel. Number three, Kinkajou. The Kinkajou could well be one of the most exotic names on this list. These cute and highly exotic animals are found in the tropical forest of Central and South America and prefer spending their time stuck up in high trees. This means to keep a Kinkajou, you'll need plenty of space and greenery for them to move around. The Kinkajou is especially known for having the weird ability to turn their feet backwards, which allows for them to run in any direction. And I thought only their Mercedes AVTR could do that. Kinkajous look somewhat like monkeys and have strong tails which they love hanging from. They make awesome and cute pets because of their social nature. They also love exploring new surroundings and are crazy over honey which has earned them the nickname of honey bears. Keeping a kinkajou, you can expect to stay up late because they become most active at night. If you also happen to have an owl, then a kinkajou would make a great companion. And you know what? The three of you could always watch the late night shows together. I mean, how awesome is that? Number two. Hedgehogs. 
Hedgehogs make great pets at home, and yes, you can keep them pretty much everywhere in the world. Several of these guys have become famous as Instagram personalities like Herbie the Hedgehog. The most common breed of hedgehog that looks simply adorable is the African Pijami Hedgehog, who lives up to 10 years, so it's pretty much comparable to keeping a dog or a cat even. Maintaining a hedgehog is more or less the same as keeping a hamster or, or a guinea pig, although guinea pigs tend to be way messier and need a lot of care and hygiene. Give a hedgehog a nice cage, a good clean toilet, fresh water, food, and a small place to hide and play peekaboo and they will always be content and happy. By the way, hedgehogs are night creatures too. The number one on this list is an unbelievably cute animal, which is why I've kept it for the last. You're simply just going to love the fennec fox. Number one, fennec fox. The fennec fox is the smallest canine in the world, measuring as small as 8 inches, and is a playful bundle of joy. Meet a fennec fox and it will immediately roll over and expect a belly rub or simply start the zoomies in front of you. Everything about the fennec is cute and adorable, and yes, they have the softest fur and come in colors like reddish cream or fawn. These little canines are considered purse animals and make an adorable squeaking sound when they are excited. <laughs> They can be taught to do tricks, play fetch, and taken on walks too. They are just as good as your domesticated dog, but with twice the energy, kind of like a battery that never runs out. Fennec foxes eat regular dog food, but you need to give them their most loved snack now and then, and that's crickets. Fennec foxes are allowed in several countries in all the USA, except for Missouri, Nevada, Minnesota, and Washington, DC. So what did you guys think of the 10 cutest exotic animals you can own as pets? I think my favorite was definitely the sugar gliders. That's all for now though, subscribe if you enjoyed.